I was sentenced to 11 years in prison for um, lewd and lascivious sexual battery on my eight-year-old son. And um, a lot of circumstances around it. But um, I was talking to a gentleman on the internet and he kept telling me that if I asked Dustin for permission, that um, it would be okay. And somewhere in my twisted way of thinking. Did and your dad ask you permission or pretend to give you control? I was daddy's little girl. Mm -hmm. And that was his way of showing me that he loved me. And that's how he groomed you. Mm -hmm. and, he, and he got you to, you know, respond, sure daddy. So, um, so that's why you would believe that. Yeah. And you were groomed the same way. Right. But it created my son to offend when he was 13 <clears throat> on a three-year-old little boy. And he got sentenced to a year in juvie. And um, now he's in prison for armed robbery, all behind trickle effects. He never got therapy. I didn't get therapy. My father never got therapy. It's a cycle of dysfunctional, almost addictive behavior passed down. Mm -hmm. It was a family trait, and everybody in the family is affected by it. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that, you know, the powers that be, the gods of the universe are trying to help you sort all this out, or do you still feel yourself as a, a victim being punished? No, I don't see myself as a victim. It's like the other day, a guy made a comment in class about you know, um, sex offenders being monsters, and not everyone is, and I don't believe, and I don't believe that sex offenders are monsters. Have you met any monsters in the palace? No, just me. Anybody that can take something in my mind, this is how I feel. I took away the most innocent thing out of my son, and created, and taught him things that he should have never known. I think that if I would have been able to have had someone allow me to speak what I really wanted to, or, you know, help me learn that that's not the way it's supposed to be. Or, you, you know what I'm, I can't, I can't, just to be able to get help with it, to where it doesn't wind up being, everything that you see and then you don't know the difference anymore and that's your life.